Yeah. You look got, weird driving, huh? Huh? I look weird driving. Yeah, like it's weird that you're driving. Oh. <laughs> Am I going the right way, babe? Yeah. Hey guys, it's Chandler Alexis. Oh, and Adam. Suck in, suck in, suck in. Hey guys, it's Chandler Alexis. I'm Adam. <laughs> no, it sounds weird. Like Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is Monday. It is 4, almost 5 p.m. We've been up since, I woke up this morning actually at 8 a.m., 8.30, but like nicely and calmly since crew wasn't there to like wake me up, I wake up, I woke up like naturally, you know what I mean? The nice little sleep we had last night. <laughs> I I can sleep when I, I sleep better when crew's not home. Not in a bad way. But because when crew's home, obviously I'm more I like I sleep lighter so that I can make sure like if he cries I hear him or you know, just safety reasons. I don't know. I'm just very I don't sleep as good. So when he's like with his dad, I sleep so much better. So it was a good sleep last night. I think Adam can agree on that one. Okay. Am I gonna here, babe? No. Okay. Well, Today is Monday and it is also a game day, but as you guys know, Adam is injured, so he's actually not playing in today's game, but we still go and support. So I'm actually dropping him off right now so he can go to the training grounds with his teammates. And then I'm gonna go back home and get dressed and get ready because the game doesn't actually start for another two hours. Five, six, almost three hours, another three hours until the game actually starts. So I'm just gonna go home, get dressed and clean the house a little bit because we did that's what we've been doing the last day and a half just cleaning and who's behind me babe it was like fake police or something no <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for tuning in for another weekly vlog i hope you enjoy this one i don't really know what the week has for us we're supposed we bro we keep saying we're gonna do our bears but we haven't done them so maybe we'll actually get to do them tonight or tomorrow i don't know do you even know where they are yeah i didn't even bought the tarp the other day for it the what the tarp what's that the thing that goes in the ground to protect the paint from touching the ground. So I bought the tarp and everything. Um, I'm ready. I'm just waiting on you, bro. Tonight. We can do it tonight. Can't wait. Thank you guys once again for tuning in for another weekly vlog. And without further ado, let's get on with the day. <laughs> I'm back home. We're in the office, aka beauty room, aka my little space. Anyways, I ignore the laundry it's getting done okay it's getting we're getting there by the way i never showed you oh my gosh sorry i have add and that was like the perfect example of what goes through my mind off camera <laughs> that was a lot of switch of topics really quickly but what i was gonna say is i didn't show you guys i got these earrings from my baby hairs are in the way but from primark there's a K and an A. Maybe I showed you, I don't remember, but they came with two. I just only put one in, so I have the A for Adam and the K for crew. I just thought they were really cute, and they've just been my daily earrings. I don't know. They're a vibe. It's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe all the time. Pink is a color. Anyways, um, I got some packages to open. So I thought I'd do it on camera. I did buy some things as well over the weekend. I got this foundation brush from Boots. And I'm going to use this when I try out the new HNB Cosmetics foundation. The color I got was... I don't know. Anywho, I got a... Ooh, I got a headband as well from Boots. I already have one that's like a Minnie Mouse one. I think you guys have seen me wear it. But I just wanted a plain one. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I opened this. I was going to return this. What am I doing? I'm talking about the wrong headband. This is not the one I'm keeping. I'm returning this. Oh my gosh, my mind, bro. I, I'll i show you what I'm keeping in a second. I also got the Soft Focused Airbrush Concealer from H&B. I'm going to try out. It's actually, I'm not using it as a concealer. I'm going to use it as a bronzer because I got it in like a darker color. And then I also got a concealer brush to like buff out my concealer before blending it so that was all over the weekend when we went to like um the safari i hope you guys enjoyed that vlog by the way i felt like that was a really fun day loved it 
but yeah i got a package so I'm opening this oh this is my second package of h&b cosmetics stuff but i actually have to return one of the colors this one because i think it's gonna be too dark for concealer it's sf4c i think it's gonna be too dark for my skin tone and then also got another foundation color but i don't think i'm gonna use this one either i think this one will be too light for my skin i think this one might just be perfect i don't know actually i don't know i might end up using both who knows i also got this in the mail and now the only reason i'm gonna tell you what it is right now is because adam already seen it and to be fair he already knew about it he just didn't know that they came already but this is actually for his birthday so for his birthday i got us let's see what it looks like inside oh my gosh it's like legit i'm honestly gonna like rewrap it i think i actually can't show you this up close because it has like our ticket information on it but i got us tickets to go see kevin hart in person later next month for adam's birthday his birthday is the 10th of april he just texted me so that's what he wanted to do for his birthday so i said i will do that for him got him tickets and that's what we're going to be doing so that will be after his birthday though leave some ideas down below of what you think i should do for his birthday because i don't know why he's we're obviously going to go to dinner we go to dinner for all the birthdays but other than that i don't know what to do he hasn't really given me ideas and he has a foot that's messed up so can't really like move around a lot you know help me out guys please help me out in the comments let me know what do i do for my boyfriend's birthday okay this is stuff i ordered on amazon last night this is what i need i should open this package first this is a box opener cute little cloud box openers oh my gosh i don't want to cut myself yeah they just slide up like that these were super cheap and super cute and you know i need these for as many packages i open a week so i told adam i was like i'm tired of like we literally use keys or our hands or whatever like ripping them apart using scissors i'm gonna keep one in my desk and then i'm gonna take the other one downstairs this is the headband i was ranting about that i am obsessed with <laughs> that i'm keeping it's the famous tiktok headband the bubble headband I just thought this was gonna be so cute on me and it is look at that that's so much cuter than having my little mickey Minnie mouse headband i mean my Minnie mouse headbands are vibe as well but this this is cute oh yeah i love this <laughs> i really do this is so oh i get so happy about things when they're like chef's kiss you know what i mean 10 out of 10 recommend as always all these things will be linked in my amazon storefront the last item i got is a face roller i don't know if i'm late on this trend but i don't know i was just looking up ways to get rid of my discoloration on my face and i am going to go get the ordinary toner tomorrow because someone recommended that or maybe i might get it today i don't know someone recommended that so i thought you know what why not give it a try but i thought i'd also start icing my face because i saw a lot of people say that icing their face helped get rid of their acne and stuff like that and i don't know it has a lot of like good things it can do i didn't want to use an actual ice cube though because i heard that could be really bad it like breaks your barriers and stuff like that so let me open this my aesthetic is very like neutral i'm trying to stay away from pinks and that's why i wanted to return this one because i didn't want a pink headband this is more my vibe y'all know that i love pink don't get me wrong i love a good pink item but when it comes to like my beauty my fits i'm not much of a pink girly but anyways i got the ice roller in white she's cute and i can't wait to use this i'm actually gonna go put it in the freezer right now so i can use it before i start doing my makeup but yeah quick little unboxing cute fun i need to stay off of amazon though for real for real i am dressed i just need to do my makeup but this is the fit let me see if i can get like a full body view for you this is the full fit i wish i think i'm gonna get this jacket tailored because this jacket is like i think it's from the men's section it's like loose you know what i'm saying and i want it to be like like that you know what i mean like a little bit more i don't want it super like tight like that i just want it like a little have like a little cinching to it a little waist you know what i mean because like look at even in the back it's just it would be so much cuter if it was like like you could see my butt you know what i mean i have a nice butt let me show it off but this just 
That's not it. But it's okay. I don't have my hands in my pockets. So it makes it look like that. But yeah, this is the fit. Now I'm ready to do my makeup. I'm going to take, I have two jackets on. So I'm going to take this top one off for now. Because it is hot. I just seen what time it is and I actually don't have time to like try out the foundation and so i'm gonna have to do it tomorrow because when i try it for the first time i want it to be like i can take my time i can film a tiktok and truly like see how i feel about it but at the current moment in time i don't have that kind of time i literally have 15 minutes to do my makeup and get up out of here so i will be trying new brushes though since that's not you know it's just a brush I can't wait till I get you on the floor, good looking. Train going hot, so hot, just like you love it. And I will burn my stuff. Where's my concealer? Oh no. y'all caught the fact that I literally messed it up at the end <laughs> like I got my mascara everywhere but yeah final makeup look I'm ready to go I am running late like 10 minutes late so gotta go see y'all at the game <laughs> so it doesn't burn my skin right now. We are upstairs doodling. <laughs> I'm gonna shout out Adam. Something. He's writing me a note right now. Say hello to the vlog. Yo. <laughs> He's left-handed, by the way, if you didn't know this, and so is Crew. So both the boys are left-handed, I'm right-handed. <laughs> I've seen a little glimpse. I don't really know what you're writing, though. <laughs> 
You look like you're really thinking about this one. Hmm? You're done. Yeah, I'm done. So I wrote, Dear Adam Ayura Wilson, I hate your stinking guts. You make me sick. You're the scum beneath my feet. Feet. I didn't mean to put feet. Or between my toes. Love, Chandler. Here, oh, wait. Here. Oh. <laughs> We're adding a little PS. <laughs> Dear Chandler Alexis Garcia, your teeth are brown like poo. You look like a monkey and you smell like one too. Hey, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> Love Adam. Okay. He loves me not. Oh, that's pretty much a question. She loves me. You guys don't know what you're talking about. I have to see her. But that's a violation of your probation. I know. I'll write a message, and you two can take it to her. Wait a second. We're heated woman haters. We can't deliver love notes. Love note? No, this is going to be a hate note. Sounds good to me. Dear Darla, I hate your stinking <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> you make me vomit. <laughs> your scum between my... Toes. Love alfalfa. <laughs> okay. That's what you did. So my teeth are brown like poo. <laughs> and I look like a monkey and I smell like one too. <laughs> you see, this goes to show you guys where my intentions come from <laughs> versus Adam's. <laughs> Uh, you were it's quite funny, though. You were chasing girls around the school playground yelling at, that at them, weren't you? What? That you look like a monkey? Yeah, that they look monkeys and they smell like one, too. Nah, I wouldn't do that. You came up with that out of thin air. No. It's a happy birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You, you look, look like, like a, a monkey. monkey and, and you smell, smell like, like one, too. too. Yeah, where'd the brown teeth come from? I just wanted to get a little rhyme before. <laughs> 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 I went to get a little rhyme before, you know what I mean? It's off Madagascar, you seen that? Marty? Is that it? You're an ick. You're you can, an you ick. can stop recording now. <laughs> about to try the ice rollers I'm first gonna moisturize my face sorry he said I was ruining his vibe he's in the kitchen but the music would have copyrighted so let me just do this quickly I'm just gonna mute over while I'm doing the face roller but moisturize 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 Roll. Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold, but it feels so good. I think I'm definitely gonna love doing this every day because, wow, and hopefully it helps my skin clear up. That's the whole reason I bought it, so fingers crossed. It's dinner time now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry eating because this food was done before mine, but look at my beautiful mountain. Actually, it doesn't look that appealing, but <laughs> I promise you it hits. It's no, this like it does still. white sauce on top of steak, and we got asparagus, grilled asparagus on top with some mushrooms underneath, as you can see, yep. right there. You yeah, don't like mushrooms. They're not normal. What are you eating? Look at this unseasoned plate, y'all. Mash, steak, green beans. By the way, we both like our meat medium rare, don't we, babe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, 
that. <laughs> I'm trying to say nothing. But yeah, we like a medium rare, so that's why it's not dark inside. It's a little pink. I washed my hair earlier, so it slicked back into a little bun. What? While we were at the store today, we got some more scratchers. We just turned in the ones that we had like won and bought these ones. So Adam got the hidden treasures again. <laughs> and then we got a little small tripler. It's not focusing. What setting are we on? There we go. And then I picked out this cute little bingo one. He's going already. He's scratching with his keys. I'm going to be using my lucky penny from the casino. I'm going to just let him scratch. We'll come back to y'all and let you know if we want anything. Let's tell them together. Three, two, one. We, we lost. lost. <laughs> we didn't win on any of them. Ah. Seven pound down the drain. Yep. Finally putting in the shelf. I got the crayon. The crayon dude. No, use a color pencil. Finally installing the shelf I bought from BM to bring in the PlayStation so Adam has his little game area in our room. <coughs> and look who's walking on his ankle, guys. He's doing so much better. The prayers are working. Yes, yes. God's plan. What did I tell you, babe? Yes, yes. I told you this. Loving the hat, by the way. 444. If you know, you know. And if you don't, get, get to, to know. know. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really are my soulmate, huh? We did not plan that. Y'all saw the whole clip. No cuts, nothing. Must be. We read each other's minds. That was crazy. But anyways, yeah, my man is installing the the shelf. I installed the one downstairs and it was really hard. So we're going to see if he's able to do this. If he can do this, I am going to be very proud because that is some great improvement because Adam's... What do you mean? I'm a handyman, <laughs> I right? I have to say, no offense, I love my man, but he's just not... What? He's a he's a footballer and that's what he's meant I'm to be. I'm a handyman. What Maybe you, you found your your calling is to be a footballer. Yeah, true. And well, so... that is what you are and you, you're great at that. As for putting but things together in the business house, businessman, handyman. You no, know, take handyman out your out your C, What is it called? A CRV? A CV. Oh, a CV. Whatever. Real resume. Take it out your resume because you are not a handyman. He built our bed work. Our bed work. Bed work. Yeah. <laughs> English <laughs> in your resume, bro. Contacts. What? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. It's your laptop. Anyway, man. he built our bed backwards. <laughs> And then what else did no, you? Yes, you I did. did. You came in as I built it wrong, but yes. then I was already. And it was backwards. Who would you like to call? Nobody. Nobody, bro. Mm. Yeah, it looks straight to me. Looks straight. Enough. Mm, I can't really tell. So yeah, I'll just say yeah, it's straight. That looks straight. <laughs> I think it'll be right. The one downstairs is crooked, so. <laughs> that one's hanging on its last <laughs> screw, bro. <clears throat> yeah, these floating shelves are not the easiest things to put together. I will say that. So. I will be very impressed if he he gets it first try. We'll see. My problem is this one looks a little. Oh no! Not only problem is <laughs> already. <laughs> he said, "Oh no." We got it, we got it. Y'all, he's talking about some maybe. <laughs> Bro, we maybe. Got we got it. Listen, don't stress yourself. Yeah? Call me Bob the Builder on these streets. Nobody calls you that. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> I think he can do it. But I just don't like his commentary. That's, that's, that's what it says. Bob the Builder. Can he fix it? I mean. Your name ain't Bob the Builder. It's Adam Wilson. <laughs> look at that. You didn't have faith in me. Now look at you. He did it! No, ah! look at yeah. Sturdy. Yeah. So sturdy with it. Good job, baby. Can you move out the way so they can see it, please? Oh. There we go. The lighting's not that good in here right now because it's nighttime, but he did it. It's pretty even. Even Steven. Yeah, I like it. I love it. Good, good job, babe. High five. Fun.
Good morning, my lovelies. It is what day is it today? Oh my gosh, it's Wednesday. I am about to wash my face. What was in this thing? Oh my goodness. I don't even know, and I don't even want to know. Luckily, it's coming out. Okay, anyways, I'm about to wash my face. I've been, I think you guys can kind of tell, trying to get better with my like skincare. You know, I got my ice roller. I've gotten some new products for my face. So, I'm just gonna do my little skincare routine right now. Adam! What did you put in the sink? Nothing, what? Did you wash something in there or something? No, what? It's like red. I just cleaned it. Um, Adam is downstairs. All right, Adam's downstairs making breakfast. And we have a lot of things going on today. I have a hair appointment at four, and then I have a filler appointment at five. And before then, I wanna try and go to B&M to do our returns, we still haven't gone. We need to go return the curtains that we bought because they were ugly. <laughs> and then a few other items. And then also, I wanna see if we can stop by the Amazon store today, see if they have anything new. But that's pretty much what's going on. I want to get some videos done today as well, hopefully. And then later tonight, I really need to like hit a workout because I have said all month like, I want to work out, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it tonight, I'm going to do it tomorrow. And then I just don't get to it. So tonight it's a must have, it's going to happen. You guys are going to hold me to it, okay? If I don't do an exercise tonight, you guys can whoop my ass. I also think we're gonna be doing our bears because we didn't get to do that yesterday either, only because we didn't have one of the things we needed to do it, which were like these cups. So we'll have to buy cups while we're out and maybe we can get to that tonight as well because I'm ready to just like do it. You know what I mean? I hate having stuff around our house that just like isn't done, including like activities. We buy a lot of like games and stuff and we're like, oh, we're gonna do this or we're gonna have a paint night, a sip and paint night. Um, we just don't get to it, so I'm just ready to have all that stuff done because our house is like fully decorated and stuff, but it's just like little things that just need to be put where they need to be put or they just, you know, need to be thrown out if they need to be thrown out. They're taking up space in our house. So that's what I'm on today. How's your day going? Are you being productive today? Let me know in the comments. At this moment in time, as you're watching this vlog, what do you have going on today? Are you just like relaxing, just watching my vlogs, like one of your relaxed day routines? Because I won't lie, I watch vlogs on my like lazy days. I find it so, I don't know, just like comforting to just lay in bed and watch other people do things all day like in their vlogs and go about their day while I just lay in bed with some snacks. <laughs> I need to get my face roller from downstairs. Let's, let me show you what Adam's doing. <laughs> Look at my sexy man. I see you on the ankle. I see you. I've secured my roller. Oh, our sheets are finally dry. I had to wash all everybody's sheets because they need to be washed. So now we can finally make our bed properly. We've been sleeping just like on our top quilt because that was the only thing that was clean. Now, we can handle this today. By the way, I always put this headband on now, even though I don't need it on. At certain times, my hair's already pulled back, but I just, I love it. My face is moisturized, but I'm gonna give this a few minutes to like, not be so frozen. I'm not trying to burn my face. That one minute turned into longer than one minute, so I just got off the phone with Crew, me and Adam did. No, I can. Ooh, cold. I'm just saying I can be. Yeah, one that you call and you talk to, girl. I'll share my world with you. If you gonna waste your time, waste your time with me. from laying in the bed but after we had breakfast Adam just came in here and started setting up the PlayStation I think he's currently on a business call right now he's in the works of doing some new business things so that's what he's doing but 
It's 3.30. It's time for me to leave to go to my hair appointment. So I have to go interrupt his call and tell him to get ready and meet me in the car. And then he's going to probably be on the phone in the car, so I'm not going to vlog there. But I need a nap, bro. Like, I was trying to <laughs> take one in bed after breakfast. But I just... I'm addicted to TikTok. So it didn't happen. <laughs> But it's very necessary when I get back. Um, I need to grab the hair. I'm going to be getting my hair installed. And I will tell you guys all about it once we get there. But, oh, I think he's done with his call. Babe. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you ready? For? My hair appointment. Gotta go. No. Mm -hmm. Come then. You love me? Mm -hmm. How much? Big, big, big. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> when you're around crew too much. <laughs> big, big, big. <laughs> so big. So big. Let me fix my hair so we can go. Should be fun. We are surprisingly in the car and on our way. Because somebody takes forever to get ready. But we're running late. Shock. So anywho, we're on our way to the hair salon. So basically what I was trying to tell you guys is I am going to be getting my hair done at Angelo. That's the place I always get my hair done at. Um, and Christiana is going to be doing my hair again today. And then afterwards, um, I'm going to be getting some filler. Dang, babe. going to be getting some filler done there as well because they're having like a um, aesthetic place come to their salon so I'm going to be getting some filler done there as well but we're gonna start off with Angelo I'm getting my hair blown out and straightened and then they're gonna add in my hair extensions from Ula hair so this is Ula hair they sent me their hair extensions I believe these are their 30 inch hair extensions their clip-ins and uh, um, my hairstylist is going to be applying these to me today. I'm super excited to have long locks. I'm really sad though because it's raining right now and like I always decide to get my hair done when it's pouring, which is just annoying. The, the weather's so bipolar here though, so you can never like predict what it's gonna be. So it's a little annoying, but it's whatever. I'm just gonna, I brought a hat to put on afterwards just to like make it from there to the car and my hood on top as well. And then I'm gonna be in the house most of the week anyway, so it's whatever, it's fine. Don't really have anything to do until what, Friday? The game's Friday, babe, or Saturday? Uh, Friday. Friday, there's a game Friday that we might go to. So that's the only thing that we'll be like really outside for. So other than that, I'll be in the house with my gorgeous long hair. So thank you to Ula Hair for partnering with me on today's video and sponsoring today's video um sh check out their website i will link it in the description but I, of course you guys obviously want to see what the hair looks like first so just keep watching once you get to the salon i'll be filming the whole process of my hair getting done and well actually i think i'll have adam record since he'll be here because usually he doesn't come to my appointments well sometimes he comes to my appointments well sometimes he just drops me off and him and crew like go do their own thing but today he's gonna be there um so maybe he'll record for me you could have all the space all that you need but there's no pressure girl. if you got time to Obviously, I told Adam that I was going to be getting filler. I think I'm going to get cheek filler, but I was just talking to Janelle yesterday to refresh your memory. Janelle is the lady that usually does my filler back home in LA. I trust her with my face. She has been doing my face for ooh, how many years now? Three years now? That's a long time to be working on my face, but three years she has been injecting my face so i trust her opinion i don't want to like go somewhere and they just like over inject my face it is very known that the people out here have these big plumped lips and 
their faces look like stone and I don't ever want that to happen to me I like filler because it fixes little like imperfections but that's all I'm getting it for is just to fix little imperfections I don't ever want to like change the look of my face and I think you guys can kind of tell that everyone always says when I get filler it looks very natural so I was asking her about her opinion on getting cheek filler because I kind of want cheek filler I think I need some definition of my cheeks and she said that she recommends just getting light cheek filler um, because I can't remember why but that's what she recommended so I'm gonna let them know I just want light cheek filler and she said to just put some more in my chin because my chin does need to get like refilled so that's what I think I'm gonna do today but I've been telling mr. Adam Wilson that guys can get filler too and I don't want him to get filler though I want him to get Botox <laughs> in his forehead because babe show them raise your eyebrows do you guys see those lines on his forehead that is what you get Botox for so when I raise my eyebrows no the lines you see that I can't really raise my eyebrows because of the Botox but there's no line so you don't get wrinkles in your forehead and he already has two lines on his head like indented in his head because of how much he scrunches his face so I think that we should rock paper scissors on whether or not he gets Botox and he agreed he said we could do that so we're gonna rock paper scissors once we get there I don't lose it though we're gonna rock paper scissors once we get there and find out if he's gonna be getting Botox today. He has no wrinkles when his head is straight. So all I'm trying to do is just get rid of them when he lifts his eyebrows. I just don't want him to be looking old. He's white, in case you guys didn't know that. <laughs> You're I'm white. Not. You're white. He's just like my stepdad. My stepdad is white as well. My stepdad's black and white, but anytime anyone says he's white, he's like, no, I'm not. He only claims his black side. This is this is Mr. Wilson here, but his last name is Wilson. Like, come on, it's a dead giveaway. He's white. <laughs> and so, you know what they say? White people don't age that well, you know what I'm saying? Black people, that black don't crack. And so, I'm just trying to make sure his, his, his black is already starting to crack. We can see it. <laughs> So I'm trying to prevent it. Is it what? Is it roast Adam Day or something? Do you want to fight when we I'm just out? trying to prevent it from cracking anymore. <laughs> and so we're going to rock, paper, scissors when we get in there. But I just let, I let you guys know that while we're in the car because I didn't really want to talk about it once we were inside. Is there no parking again? Oh, there's some right here. Right here. Well, we are here. Comment down below, though. Before we even do the rock, paper, scissors, do you think that that says reserve parking, babe? Wish us luck. Wish Adam luck because he don't want to lose his references. But yeah, comment down below what you guys think about the Botox in the forehead to prevent. I'm just just, <laughs> no. a, just a little bit there to prevent the wrinkles is all I'm saying. I mean, no harm, no foul. This part of the video is sponsored by Ula Hair. Guys, if you are in need of good quality hair at a good price, you have to check them out. My hairstylist is applying their 220 grams, 30 inch human hair clip-ins into my hair. And the price for the clip-ins I'm using is $213 for 10 pieces. That's a steal. 
and when I tell you guys that this hair blended so nicely and felt so thick please believe me I 10 out of 10 recommend I will leave the link to their site in the description box if you want to check them out but you know summer is right around the corner if you need hair that's the place to be because guys you're not gonna find anything better than that and by the way she's doing like a halo application which I think looked so good it blended so nicely can you see this this is their hair blended with my hair my hair short like 30 inches is not the length of my hair at all it looked so good 10 out of 10 recommend chef's kiss this is the place to be Side note, if you're not convinced after seeing this clip of my hair mixed in with the clip-ins, I don't know what's going to convince you. Like, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Shout out to my hairstylist because she did what needed to be done. Once again, thank you to Ula Hair for sponsoring today's video. I will leave their link in the description down below. Rock, paper, scissors, two. <laughs> One. Four. Two. Best of three. Come on. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> I'm in the middle of getting my hair done, you guys, but we're with the aesthetic guy. Hey. Introduce yourself. Say hello. Hi. Check him out I'm on Pete. Insta. This is Pete, and he's going to be doing my filler today. So we're starting I'm off with. Numbing cream on first. Mm-hmm. And then we'll leave that on for 15 minutes. Perfect. And then that'll be nice and numb. Won't feel a thing. And then we'll get a filler in for you. Perfect. Thank you. So yes, if you guys see this on my face right now while we're getting, curling my hair, <laughs> that's, we took a little second to do that. We're going to continue. We're adding some bounces to my hair right now. And then we'll be all done. A little self-treatment day. If you could just um, lay down. Oh, it's too sexy, actually. How are you feeling? Are you nervous? No. <laughs> You're not nervous? Not scared of <laughs> No. Take it like a man. All right. So we're doing the forehead then. Yeah. Let's get a before and, and after. Freeze those muscles. Up. Oh. Look angry. Okay. Look surprised. Look like you might the best girl get in the world. Get out of He's gonna see it and be like, oh, I look no no lines in my forehead. I look young. So I have it in mind. <laughs> Oh, do you? Yeah. We twins. Twinsies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one. Good job, babe. Feeling young, but they treat me like an OG. And they want the tea on me. I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head. I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this head. My niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while. He can't control me. Who knows? Uh, I didn't do five guys, but I draw as much. Yeah. And I'm gonna... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> See, it wasn't that bad. He's looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> wasn't that bad, babe? <laughs> hey, you're a professional athlete. Let's not do that. Good boy. Looking better already. <laughs> house right now about to edit but guys my chin looks so good it just needed like a little refresher and I'm glad we did I decided not to do my cheeks because I just was scared that like if we did them it would be too much and then that's where I'm starting to get the stone face I don't know so we just did my chin and I'm just happy with that and as you saw Adam lost 
the rock, paper, scissors, and he had to. Let me pause the TV because it's a little loud. But Adam lost the rock, paper, scissors and had to get the Botox. By the way, I just want to make it clear because I feel like people are be like, oh my god, you forced him. I already know the haters, bro. But he agreed. He was like, if you, if you can beat me in rock, paper, scissors, I'll do it. Like, he wasn't, like, so against it. I think he just didn't want to, like, do it on his own free will. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't want to. I think he wanted it. I think he secretly wanted it. Because he always says, like, that he thinks it's cool. I don't have wrinkles. But I think he secretly wanted it. He just wanted to have, like, a reason to have to get it you get what I'm saying so he actually even after was like yeah like I want to see the results tomorrow so just to clarify because you know the haters be talking but anyways I'm gonna I'm out of breath because I just ran downstairs to the car to get my camera because I had left it in the in the back seat but um I'm about to watch house for like the next two hours while I edit I vlog and then the next time I pick up the camera will be me doing my workout <laughs> I need to stick with it. We didn't go to B&M today, so that'll have to be tomorrow. We just like, oh my gosh, we procrastinate so much. It's so bad. But since I'm not doing that, I at least need to make sure I get my workout in tonight. I look a mess. Oh my gosh. I did just wash my face and I forgot I had mascara on last night. I forgot to take it off. So now it's like running around my eyes. I get my mirror. Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, and don't be disappointed in me because I'm already disappointed in myself. I didn't work out last night. I fell asleep. I was editing, which I mean, I'm proud of myself because I did finish like editing a whole weekly vlog. And if you guys know, I mean, you're watching one right now, they're like an hour long. So that's a lot of editing. And by the way, just to like let y'all know this as well. When you see a video that is like an hour to an hour and a half long, just know that the footage I edited was two hours to three hours long. So I took three hours worth of footage and put it down to an hour and a half. So that's a lot, you know what I mean? So, and that takes obviously more than three hours from going through three hours of footage. They take a long time to edit, but I fell asleep because I was so tired and I forgot to work out. Very disappointed in myself, but I said, you know what, I'm going to make it up. I'm going to work out twice today to like make up for the loss. So that's what I'm doing. I'm in my workout clothes. I took a shower. I've washed my face, like I just said, and I was going to roll up my face, but I'm actually bruising from my filler yesterday. So I'm not going to roll up my face because obviously you're pushing push pushing you're putting pressure on your face i don't want to like mess anything up so i'm just gonna leave it but i'm gonna just moisturize my face right now and then put on some sunscreen and then we're gonna go downstairs and do a light workout because you're also not supposed to work out after getting filler either for like the first 48 hours i think it is so nice and gentle <laughs> So we're just going to do like a light Pilates workout today. I'm so excited to take my curls down since, oh my gosh, they look a mess. <laughs> this is not what I expected it to look like when I took my bonnet off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm a little nervous. Let's take these curlers out though. Ooh, can you guys see that? That's really pretty though. I think I uncurled it the wrong way, but that's really pretty. Let's see this one. Like I think I meant to pull it that way, yeah. Oh yeah. That's cute. They obviously need to be a little refreshed up with some like hairspray. But those are really pretty. I've never used curlers like this before because, I don't know, I actually don't know why I've never used curlers like this before, but I just haven't. But that is just, wow. I don't usually sleep in my clip-in extensions. They weren't like that uncomfortable, so I didn't want to like take them out and have to like replace them, you know what I mean? So I said, you know what? Just curl them up for tonight and see how they look in the morning i'm happy with the results i'm just not so happy with 
the front pieces that I rolled, like they didn't come out how I wanted them to, so now they're like your money pieces, you know, and <laughs> mine aren't looking too good, but for what it's worth, like this, this, for what it's worth, this looks cute, you know what I mean, like, it looks good. The hair is really good. I just need to figure out <laughs> what to first of all have a line on my head from my bonnet. I slept with it so tight on because I didn't want it to come off in the middle of the night. A little sunscreen for the day. I'm very happy, by the way, with my filler. I think it still looks natural. Obviously, it's swollen right now, so it's looking a little more profound than it usually would be. But I definitely needed like a little touch up. So I'm really happy with the results. He did really good. I was really scared that there was a possibility he might mess up my face. Just because like I said, I'm so used to going to the same people for the past 3-4 years I've been getting filler. This was the first person outside of them to like touch my face after them. And I was worried like oh my gosh if he messes up all the work that they've done. I'm going to be so disappointed because obviously... I'm not in LA. Let me add some chapstick on my lips. Guys, my lips have been going so dry because I've been trying not to wear chapstick as much, but I don't think it's working for me. But yeah, I was just worried because I we live far from any like aesthetic places. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some here, but like I mentioned yesterday, very like way too much, you know, and that's not the look I'm going for. I want like a very natural look. I'm not I'm not judging anyone that loves that like big blown up look but it's just not for me i don't want to look like i'm made of stone i don't want to look like a blow up doll like i want to look human and so i want it to look natural but i want it to look like you know perfect i don't know but he didn't mess it up he did it so perfect like look at my face i look so cute i'm so happy like oh i love it because not only did he do great like i'm very happy about that but also that I needed a little touch up you know I get a touch up about every three to six months when I'm back home in LA which I know sounds like a lot but if you guys know from the beginning what my chin used to look like you know that this is necessary <laughs> I went from having no chin to having a chin and if I feel like embarrassing myself right now I'll post a photo here so you guys can see because I honestly like I don't recommend filler to those who don't want it or don't need it but like if you want it if you're thinking about it and you think it's the right choice for you I mean obviously do your research like I said about the people you go to the places you go to because you don't want anyone to like mess up your face but if you've been really thinking thoroughly about getting filler I recommend it like I love it I think filler is a it's a temporary fix because obviously it doesn't stay it does dissolve after like a certain amount of months but when it comes to my chin, the reason that my chin stays kind of like out, not really going back in, is because I've gotten so much filler over the years that my face is starting to form that shape of the filler. And that's kind of why I keep going back and keep going back. It's just to keep that shape. I don't want my chin to like go back to what it was. 10 out of 10, recommend. And I'm very happy with my result. I do want to clarify that I think everyone is beautiful the way they are. Honestly, I think that it's what's inside that counts. Um, but I just like the outside to match my inside, you know what I mean? So, do your research, love yourself first, because at the end of the day too, if you don't love yourself, filler's not gonna fix that. Love yourself within, and then if you still wanna get your filler, you know, to each their own, I support you. But yeah, I'm gonna go do my workout now, downstairs. I can't get no rest, can't get no sleep, yeah. This whole thing got way too deep and we should Stop making a big deal out of the little things Cause I got big deals and I got little things I got everything I'm asking for you Stop making a big deal out of the little things Let's get carried away or without since I'm technically not supposed to be working out I just don't know if that's the best idea but I do know that weights give me like the best workout 
Okay, I think I'm gonna do it with no weights. I haven't been working out in a while, so. We're gonna keep it light. I think I'm gonna use my ankle weights for some like, a little toughness to the workouts. Alone in my place, my heart is away. All that I can think of is we should get married. We should get married. Let's stop holding back on this and let's get carried away. Stop making a big deal out of the little things. Cause I got big deals and I got little things. Got everything asking for the truth. Stop making a big deal out of the little things. We are done and now I can take these weights off. I don't know if the leg weights were a good idea because they were kind of heavy. We did a lot of like leg workouts and I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna make something to eat now because I am starving. Adam should be home in like an hour or two. I don't want, I said no. You know I said no, I don't you want it. it. Yeah, you want the pizza. Oh, <laughs> this clown. He literally said to me, I said to him, I'm hungry, let's go. He said, you don't want this last slice of pizza? We had pizza last night for dinner. I said, no, babe. He proceeds to put it in the microwave and heat it up. I knew he wanted it for himself. <laughs> Selfish motherfucker. Anywho, oh, before y'all comment that I'm gross for wearing this jacket again today, we're literally just running to the store real quick. So I just threw it on because it was right on top of my clothes in our wardrobe. But I promise you guys, I'm not gross. <laughs> I barely wore it yesterday. I just wore it to get my hair done. And then we came straight home. Uh, so <laughs> you're so annoying. So uh, you were sweating. That. No, I wasn't. <laughs> He's so yeah. don't listen to him. Anyhow, we are about to go return these items that I didn't like when I saw them in our house from B and M. And then we're gonna go get some groceries because we're out of like eggs, bread, milk, stuff we need for dinner. Um, I'm gonna make some spaghetti tonight, so we've got to get some ingredients. Talking about nasty. Look at you using sauce from yesterday. That's nasty. How? That's that was sat out all night, and you're gonna eat it today. This don't go in the fridge. Nasty. Oh, we're, we're also going to make some chocolate chip cookies tonight, so I'm excited for that. And maybe we'll actually get to do our bears for once. We need to grab cups while we're out too, so. I want to show you guys what Adam did to my Uggs. If you watched my um, recent video on my main channel, if you haven't, I'm going to link it down below, but I did like a Fashion Nova try on haul video and I said, get fake Uggs, and this is why. Because if you have a boyfriend like mine who likes to stick his nasty big feet in your shoes, he will ruin your Uggs. Who? You! And you can see that's going to start showing right here as well. So yeah, and here too, like you can see it there. He likes to stretch them out. They're no longer comfy to my feet. My feet slip in so easily. They don't have no like comfort on them. Look how, right, let me show you. Before, when I had the Uggs, they would stay on my feet even if I like swung my foot around. Look at this. Like what is that? We're getting old anyway. They're not. They're barely a year old. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Yeah, they were getting old. They're barely a year old, babe. What happened? Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, I think I almost broke my camera lens, but we made it to B and M. We did our returns already. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And now I'm showing Adam all the pillows. Well, he's not paying attention, but we need some pillows for our bed because oh. it needs a few like Pillow. big pillows. I don't know, that's what I need your help with. Black. No, not really black. So please don't try this one's cute. Nah, nah, nah. These ones. No, no, hell no. You guys, he's British. Can you tell? Look these at what he likes. 
He thinks that these He's comment like, comment like down below. Or actually, I'll see if I can put a poll on the screen. What's better, Adam's choice or my choice? It's like grandma material. Bro, are you stuck? This is. Yeah, zoom in but on the he likes the fake fur. Zoom in on the material. Babe, it's Get close. Like that. It's like Sherpa. Get close. Yes, it's like a rug. It's like Sherpa. That's how it's supposed to right, be. It looks babe. dry. You want to get a Un-lotion. fake fur. See, look, they're different on both sides. You like that one? The white's here. You like that one? Then the white's down there, isn't it? No, 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 no. By the way, the only reason I already see the comments, like, oh, I just know you guys so well. Someone's going to be like, oh, you're so bossy. Like, he lives there, too. But we had a deal when we got this house. He got the house he wanted. I get to decorate the house that I want now. So it's decorated to my liking. And none of this fur stuff is my liking. And I think he'll see that. Like, 10 years from now, he'll look back and be like, why did we have fur pillows and fur blankets and fur this and fur that? I'm That's like, uh huh, because your crazy ass wanted fur. We don't have any fur blankets, babe. Look, these are the ones we have in the living rooms that I just got. And it's that material. Sure, but. This is what I got for our bed, but then I realized it looked better in the living room. I mean, I, don't, I didn't see it in that room. It might have looked good in that room, too. Yeah. So I'm thinking, should I get like these big ones? What, for the room? Yeah. It's it's not just meant, for show. Yes, it's just for show. It's just decor. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm easy. I don't mind. I just don't know what color. If it's this, if we should go with this, or we should go with the darker brown. Sure. <laughs> no, it's not. Then <laughs> what should we do? It's all on you, man. I like those brown ones, but now I can't remember what I remember. Oh, I took a photo of her. Okay. We decided on these ones <laughs> after a long debate that he does not like the tassels. <laughs> Better than the fur, though. I'll settle. 58 pounds, Thank please, you. love. Thank you. I am meeting his dad tomorrow. I didn't mention that because I wasn't sure um, what was going on, but he just told me that his dad is coming into town tomorrow. So that will be super exciting. Unfortunately, he won't be able to see ads, ads play. <laughs> calling me ads. <laughs> well, due to his foot, but at least they'll get to, they're gonna go to the game together. So I think I might go as well. If I go, I'm probably gonna just hang out with Alex though. Anyhow, we're going to Asda now to get stuff for dinner, and I'm excited I because I am starving. I don't know why you went this way either. Um, he's going like the long way around. But anyways, we're gonna go get stuff from Asda for dinner to make spaghetti. I'm, I think I'm just gonna be in the kitchen tonight. I'll have him like chop stuff for me, but other than that, I'll just handle it from there. And I'm super excited because I am starving. My stomach is growling. You guys obviously haven't seen me eat much. I've literally ate cereal today. I had some chips and as in crisps and an ice cream that's it so my stomach is literally yelling at me like eat, you're a mess eat bro it, you, you left me in the house with no food you're a grown he woman. literally said last night <laughs> no you said last night uh or yesterday i finished all the eggs then later on the day said i said oh i wish i would have had toast you said oh there's no more bread then there's like an ounce of milk left which i used to have cereal so there's no more milk either there's nothing in there oh and my noodles he ate them, <laughs> so. What noodles? My endomy. Mac and cheese. There's no milk. You said that was an ounce. You could have had it. I had cereal, cereal already, cereal. so I'm eating mac and cheese for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting hangry, so we're gonna end this this section, <laughs> this segment of the vlog, you guys, for the you know for the better health of him. Now stay on the camera. <laughs> 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 Don't edit. I mean, we could just go across the street to the park right here. Oh, y'all, my, my cell phone's ringing. Hold up. Can you hear me? Yeah. So, what day did you say? No. Hey, let me get your number. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? Let me get your number. <laughs> did you just reverse? What is that? I don't know. Let me get your number, okay? Okay. <laughs> I just hope Kevin House said, let's ride. <laughs>
<laughs> He's stupid. Wait, babe, we need um yeah, garlic bread. <laughs> Are you sure it's here? Next, I said this one. Oh. I tell him I'm hungry. And this is what he feeds me, you guys. Reese's Pieces. I said this is a four, five star course meal. Really good. Really. <laughs> It's just water. <laughs> I took my, took my um, first year. That's so beautiful. We go look around. Let's go look around. <laughs> we decided to come to a pub before we go home for dinner and just have a little drink. Um, so that's what we're doing. Cheers. We're gonna play darts after and then go home and have dinner. We're so spontaneous. I love it. <laughs> we are home. I feel like my under eyes just look really dark anytime I have makeup on them the day before. But, whatever. We're home. I want to show you what the pillows look like. I haven't seen them myself yet, but let's see how they end up looking like on our bed. By the way, this is our bed when it's made. The pillow shouldn't look like that, but I think Adam was laying on the bed earlier. Okay. Here are the pillows. Oh yeah, they match pretty well. Okay. I'm not mad about it. I just feel like our bed needs more pillows, you know what I mean? So. That's cute. Probably still need a few more, <laughs> in my opinion. Like some bigger ones, but... That is cute. Our bed looks so plain. We need artwork on like the walls or something to like bring some life to this room because it just looks so plain. But I love it because during the day, the room just looks so like relaxing. That's the best way I can explain it. Even Adam said it earlier. Like the, it just looks beachy in here during the day. The walls don't look so like bland. And I don't know. This is my favorite room to be in to chill in. So. That's what it's looking like now that we added the pillows. I'm pretty sure these are probably more like couch pillows, but we're gonna be using them for decor in this room and I think that's fine. We just finished making dinner <laughs> and Adam was recording me for Instagram, I think, but this is what it's looking like. We made spaghetti. Our spaghetti has Parmesan cheese on top. That's why it's like white looking. And then garlic bread, potatoes, and then we have our little ketchup dishes. By the way, I don't know if you have noticed, I bought all this stuff last week in my vlog, um, or like on Saturday or Sunday, one of those. So I kind of showed these items. So this is what it looks like made. I just love like the, what is it called? Like it just looks professional i don't know how to say that well how do you say that babe like it looks put together yeah. by using like these little yeah. things looks small babe. it looks classy it looks, it looks, gourmet. It looks yeah whoosh. it doesn't look that luxurious if you think about it no, but it, yeah. you know what we need our plate holders too that's what's missing okay i fixed it i think this looks a lot better now this looks classy do you see it we've got the placemats we've got our drinks i think adam's gonna have some sprite in his but i'm gonna be trying out this new Asti that we got. We have the other one, but I want to try out a new brand. So can you open that for me, please, babe? I can, I can. Eat. Yeah, this just looks more put together for a nice dinner at home. And this is like an everyday thing for us. Like this is how our dinner, our dinner, our meals look all the time. I and mean, when you guys have seen it. So obviously I just wanted a better way of like displaying things. This motivates us to like cook at home more often and you know, just i don't know we've been cooking some like five star meals lately like orange chicken at home tonight we're having spaghetti you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. potatoes and like just look how pretty this garlic bread looks placed like that in a little little serving dish you guys we added some candle lights they're really called tea lights i think little, so. little candles to just set a little more romantic vibe. So cute. Obviously, we can't even see each other. <laughs> it's a little dark in here, but it's so romantic. I love it.
Good morning, everyone. Oh my gosh, it's so bright today. Good morning. It is Friday and it is game day. Once again, Adam's not playing today. As you all know, he's hurt, but he's actually getting so much better. I don't know if I showed y'all yesterday, but he's like fully walking on his foot. You guys, they said it would take about six to eight weeks for him to be better. Babe, how many weeks has it been? Two and a half. Two and a half? And he's already walking on his foot? Ah! And the doctor like cleared him to walk. Like he still wears his um his boot, but he doesn't eat the crutches anymore. And he was using the crutches before to not put so much weight on that foot. Now the doctor's like, you can walk on it with the boot on, you're good to go. I mean he's been walking around the house without the boot some days. Like he's okay. It's after a while it does start to hurt. But he's so much better. And this is what I mean. When I try to I try to tell Adam a lot, like and I want to send the message to you guys as well. When you think positively, like you change the direction of whatever the situation was that you were in. Do you get me? Like if you're in a negative situation, you start thinking positively, you're attracting positivity. And that's all that's going to be returned to you from the universe, from God, from your blessings. And so I strongly believe in prayer. I strongly, strongly believe in manifestation. And that's exactly what this has shown like he's doing so much better i'm so happy they're even saying that they think he'll be able to get back into the season um before it ends so thank you to everyone out there who prayed for him and kept him in your prayers and yeah <laughs> they can't see you it's too dark <laughs> he said thank you but um anyways it's friday it's game day we are going to be going to the game even though it is an away game usually we wouldn't go to an away game when he's injured but it's close by so we thought we'd go and on top of that his dad is in town his dad is down the street actually um so i wanted to film before he gets here because you guys know i don't really vlog around adam's family just because that life is kind of separate from my filming life but he's down the street he should be here soon super excited for that this is my first time meeting him so i'm a little nervous but i think i got this and um yeah this will be the last person i need to meet before i've met the entire wilson family you know so wish me luck but with that being said yeah we're just gonna probably go grab some food later then we're gonna go to the game and i think they're gonna probably like go out together later just have some bonding time adam asked me if i wanted to come but i was like you know what let me just let them bond because they haven't seen each other in a minute so that's gonna go on we'll probably see alex tonight at the game i texted her she said she's gonna be there so probably see alex and yeah really excited it's a great day we cleaned the entire house let me show y'all let me give y'all a little Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> that sun was hurting my face. Let me give you all a little tour of what it's looking like. Okay, so this is our room. I don't mind the clothes on the radiator. They're obviously like drying from being washed. But our room is nice and clean. Our bathroom is nice and clean. I think my office is probably the only room that's not really clean clean. <coughs> yeah, my office is a little bit of a mess. It's okay. And then Crew's room is clean. Adam's dad's going to be sleeping in here tonight and then see you guys i told you it would work out so this is now like our little guest room so yeah um and then the wardrobe we still have a few more <laughs> baskets of laundry but it feels like every day this laundry basket just does not want to like empty itself like we wash and wash and wash we still have so many clothes but the wardrobe itself is looking really good let me grab my reese's i should on this snack on these a little bit and then our guest bathroom aka cruise bathroom is nice and clean no it's not let me put my face stuff away actually i need to wash my face so let's leave that there and remind myself to wash my face and let's go downstairs so the front area is nice and clean which i love cute kitchen clean iron clean little clean it's a nice clean house we love it what do you have to say to the vlog it's a great day the sun's out buns out oh, <laughs> buns away <laughs> um are you excited to see your daddy don't say it. i've told you about saying it like that <laughs> my dad yeah yeah <laughs> You're trying to wind me up today, innit? It's alright. We move. You can stop recording me now. I know. <laughs> it's 
it's finally that time. Adam's dad has been here for about an hour or so. We've been just talking downstairs. He's such a sweet guy. He's been showing us about all his like traveling and stuff and I'm like, ah, oh, I need to travel again. I need to. But I am about to do my makeup because we're going to go out and get some food. Um, but I thought now is the perfect time, oops, to try out the H&B cosmetics products for you guys so i'm gonna make a tiktok if you guys want to see like a full extensive review make sure to head over to my tiktok at chandler alexis and follow me there and keep up with my tiktoks there but yeah i'm gonna do that and start doing my makeup hey guys i just got my boots package and i'm going to be trying out the h b cosmetics foundation and concealer on camera for you after i finished my makeup we went out to lunch and we went to this place called mowgli and it was so cute the inside was such a vibe such a cute aesthetic they even had these chairs that were literally swings obviously had to start with some drinks adam was being boring and just got a coke i however had a cocktail with rum it was great then we had curry rice some potatoes so good i'd recommend eight out of ten then afterwards we had to go to starbucks because i was a little faded <laughs> from my cocktail so i needed some coffee to just settle myself so i got a frappuccino afterwards we still had time on our hands so we went back to the house and played some uno with adam's dad it was so fun but when i tell you they whooped my ass i lost almost every single game they were the ones winning back and forth actually i didn't even win one game maybe i won one at the end i think I don't think so actually now that I, <laughs> yeah I did bad it was it was a bad game for me after our uno game we headed to the football game and we didn't win but we didn't lose either we drew however we did win the league due to this game so cool Alex and Dan took a picture together and then I was showing you guys that there were so many news reporters there um, because like I said they did win the league the season that makeup wipes are not good for your skin because it gives you wrinkles I think it was or something like that so I thought I'd use this moment in time to let you guys know that I usually wash off my makeup a makeup wipe is only used if there's literally like I I think I mentioned it like I don't have my face wash and I need something quick and simple especially like after having a drunk night a lit night or being out all day and being way too tired I will grab for a makeup wipe but it's not a daily thing I prefer to do my skincare routine and thoroughly remove all of this junk off my face because it's not good for your skin it's not I used to sleep with makeup on and think oh my gosh like it makes my skin so much clearer the next day and it would <laughs> I don't know why but then like the day after it would break my face out completely it was so gross i'm just now realizing that i don't think i ever showed you guys my full makeup look before i took it off so that's a bummer i'm so sorry you guys saw it for like two seconds before i took it off um but i will i will link the tiktok <laughs> that i did putting it oh my gosh, putting it on it's getting in my mouth um down below so you guys can see the full makeup look if you want me to do like a tutorial on my makeup i will by the way i don't know if anyone has noticed but i have a mark on my lip you might have seen it in some clips it's like brown like dark right here and then on underneath my lips here and here it's not because my lips are chapped or dry it's because i burned my lips 
when I was eating something. I can't remember what I was eating. I was like trying something. I made something for dinner. I was trying it and it burned my lips. So it looks very unattractive, but hopefully it will go away soon. And then also I'm bruised right here from my filler. In case you notice that. Anyways, we're done with my usual skincare routine. However, I feel a pimple coming in right here on my cheek. Oh, it might be there already. I'm not going to pop it because I heard that that just makes your skin worse, which I'm so used to doing. Instead, I got these acne patches from that Amazon store I'll be telling you all about. This is crazy. Oh, and the one that I'm using currently. This is a wild deal saver. Also, I know a lot of you keep asking me where's the location of that place but i cannot tell you because i've mentioned many times in my vlogs that it's close to my house that's not safe for me to tell you all the location and honestly there's if you just look up in your area amazon discount stores they're like everywhere that's what i found out they're everywhere so just look up nearest amazon discount store to you and you'll find it or amazon warehouse to you and you'll find one there we go I love these because I've seen people wear like the colored ones on their faces. I've seen like star shapes. Those are cute though. They're an aesthetic. I like those actually. What am I saying? I do like those ones. But I do like that this one looks like skin. Like it blends in with your skin. Obviously you can see it but it blends in. So I can still like go to the grocery store and not look crazy or just you know. Because obviously if I went to the grocery store and I had stars all over my face I'd look a little cuckoo. But this one blends perfectly with your skin. I actually had it on in a vlog and I was supposed to tell you like, oh, I have a pimple patch on in case you guys see it and I didn't, but no one commented about it. Anyways, I just took off my makeup. I feel great. I haven't talked to you in a minute, so let me just upgrade, upgrade you, update you on what's been going on. So Adam is now a league winner, um, his first year on the team with this team and they won the league. And that was determined by tonight's game. They actually didn't win the game tonight. Like technically it was a draw because no one scored. The score was nil nil zero zero. And so since the score was zero zero, there's technically not a winner, but that's technically a win. Like they got a point for it. And therefore, even if Adam's team were to lose every single game from here on until the end of the season they would still win the season. They are the top scorers of the league. Like they've always been at the top of the league. They've never been number two, number three, number four. They've always been number one. And so yeah, they've won so many games that by now, if anyone even beats them at every single game after, they'd still win the league. So that was really fun. They celebrated, they got crunk. Y'all probably heard the music like when they were in the locker room. I recorded the locker room door because I just thought it was so funny. But um, yeah. So they celebrated and then we just got home. Well, I got home. I dropped Adam and his dad off at the pub. So they're at the pub playing pool. I didn't want to go because I thought I'd let them bond. I think I told you guys this earlier. So I'm letting them bond and I'm going to just get some work done. I want to take off my makeup. I'm really tired. I was yawning at the game and I just like need to some rest my social battery is dying <laughs> and so I just need to relax but oh my gosh you guys I love Adam's dad like he is so sweet he's such a sweet guy um he reminds me very much of like my family like they're very quiet but nice and they talk like they tell you like a lot of information that you don't you never knew and I think that's so like I love people like that I think it's so interesting that like they're so wise you know his dad is so smart like I don't know his dad's so cool so that's been great love having him here and you know but my social battery meaning we've been out all day it's dead so I said you know what boys you go bond I'm gonna go home and I'll just get them later I might stop by a little bit um after I'm done like editing for a little stop by there get a few drinks with them and then we'll probably come back home and just relax for a bit but the new season of power let's get out of this bathroom because it's kind of loud in here the new season of power has came out and so i kind of want to start it i don't know adam will literally murder me you guys like i do some things that piss him off because that's just me i'm chandler alexis i do what i want and some of the things i do piss adam off but this i know he will literally murder me if i start power without him but like i don't know what to watch while i edit 
and like it's there you know what I mean? actually let's check let's see if it's even on this tv maybe that will stop me from watching it i'm not going to watch it that sounds messed up like i'm i'm not going to i'm not gonna watch it i'm gonna wait for him i can wait like an hour but i really want to watch it you know what i mean i'm taking these extensions out tomorrow also maybe tonight actually i don't know i love them in though they're so freaking pretty i wish they were like a weave where it was like actually in my head or like tips but since it's clipping extensions they're like hurting my head i don't know good morning everyone it is saturday last day of the weekly vlog and adam's dad just left us i'm actually sad you guys i loved him so much he's so sweet me and nigel are gonna be best friends that's adam's dad's name i don't know if i mentioned that I just said it and i'm like you guys are probably like who the heck is that but yeah we're gonna be best friends like that's my guy so anyways we took him to the amazon store and obviously as usual me and adam couldn't help ourselves. Let me show y'all what we got. <coughs> okay, so this is everything we got. We got this automatic card shuffler. Adam is obviously very impatient. He wants to try it out now, so he can try it on the inner cards, which is why we got it. And then we got, wait, original price? Original price, 10 pound 81. We paid? One pound eight pence. Nice. We got crew this spray water toy because a lot of his toys are like those rubber toys that need to be thrown out because of the mold thing on TikTok. So we got this one. It sprays water and the original price, £10.82. We, we paid £1.08. pence. I then decided to get a new digital camera since the last one stopped working. You guys look at how pretty this one is though. This is hard to do with one hand. This is so hard. Is. Look at that, you guys. This is an aesthetic. My other one was blue and it was not that cute. This is so cute. So, we're gonna try this out and hopefully it works. There's a fly in here because we left the doors open earlier and now there's a fly and it's annoying me. But, anyways, how cute. Yeah, so since the other one was a bust, we're gonna try this one out and hopefully it's great. It's by the same company, so I don't know if those have to do. But, this camera was originally. £20.82 and we paid £2.8. Oh, babe, we got batteries somewhere. Yes. Right. One second, I'll get it for you. Okay. Then got a 3-in-1 selfie light because I can use this in my office to do my makeup. I um, recommended it. Uh, originally, it was £19.16 and we paid £3.19. Next, we got this smart scale that... Um, Connects to your phone. Adam really wanted one of these, and I mean, I need it as well because I'm gonna be working out more. And originally, it was forty pound eighty two pence. We paid four pound sixty five pence. Pence or p? Sixty five. P is just abbreviated for pence. Ah. Okay, and then I actually have one of. Ooh, that almost fell. <laughs> I actually have one of these already and so I wanted Adam to have one because he can't use mine. It's kind of gross to be putting my floss in your mouth. But we found one. They had a bunch of them and I picked this one out. Imagine it looks like mine. Um, it's a, an oral irrigator spa for your mouth. It's just a, it's water floss. It's a water pick. And originally this cost, by the way, mine I got from my doctor, luckily, because these things are usually so expensive. But actually the original price on this one's only £20.82 and we paid £2.38. These are so good. 10 out of 10 recommend these next i got this vlogging tripod that comes with a light and a mic i just like to have extra tripods and mics and lights and all that for my filming and stuff adam found this originally it was 41 pounds and 25p we paid four pound 13 so good and then the last thing that we bought was this toy for crew for his room it's a dartboard but with like little balls and they stick to the to the board. Nineteen pound eighty two. We paid two pound twenty seven. Here you go, baby. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Get that out. See if it works. So annoying. This camera is battery powered. I don't like that. Usually, I just charge the cameras, and that's fine. 
But luckily, from Ikea, you guys might have known this, I remember this, but I bought these batteries. And they are actually, oh, actually, I don't know if these ones are from Ikea. Maybe I need to go get the Ikea ones. These Ikea batteries, I think we have some. I don't know where they are, but these ones are actually rechargeable. And then this is the charger for them. So that's really nice because you don't, uh, don't have them. These are the box of batteries right now, but hopefully I do. That way, where'd that battery go? I don't have to buy batteries over and over again. That would be annoying. How do you think the visit with your dad went? It was good. Had a great time. You know, watch some football, play some pool, play some emo. How was the visit with my dad? Lovely. Loved having him. He's always welcome in this hot house. And uh, we've got some vacation plans coming up soon. I think you guys will be seeing Mr. Nigel very, very, very soon. I'm yes. excited for that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes. Are you ready to get beer from Uno? I'm not going to get beer, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we started. Wait, I wasn't even yeah. ready. Cheater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you play. No. Oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> We're playing by the point system, so yeah. yes, so. It just started raining out of nowhere. Like it was such a nice day outside and now Oh my gosh, it's raining. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be